with a safe hoisting setup. If the rope is let go, a fall arrestor locks the rope up, so the RRU does not fall. 1. Anchor the upper end of the rope to a position higher than the fixed pulley. 2. Anchor the lower end of the rope, or hold the rope at an angle away from the tower. In this way, the object can be lifted along the fall arrestor rope. An antenna is lifted in the same way as a pole. Before lifting an antenna, tie the hoisting rope and tow rope to the antenna. Anchor the hoisting rope. Use a carabiner to fix the tow rope to the antenna so that it can be easily disengaged at height. When lifting an antenna, one person must hold the antenna to make sure the cables and ports at the bottom of the antenna are not scratched as it leaves the ground. Slingers pull slowly on the hoisting rope when the antenna comes close to the installation position. At this time, the riggers at height reach out to steady the antenna so that it does not hit the tower. Fix the antenna's upper support arm to the tower first. Otherwise, the antenna may pivot downwards under its own weight. Then, attach the lower support arm. Unfasten the hoisting rope. Disengage the tow rope. After the antenna is installed, start to hoist and install the RRU. Riggers on the tower must not lean forward to grab a rope with their hands or feet. This could cause them to fall. If the RRU is hoisted without a tow rope, it may easily collide with the tower or other devices installed on the tower. Do not stand directly under the RRU when it is suspended in the air. Do not untie the hoisting rope until the RRU is fastened to the tower. Otherwise, the RRU may fall.